Um, yeah. The LeBron stuff, yeah. It's crazy. I can't believe – so the whole thing's crazy, and, and I've said it. I almost cum my pants when I first saw what he said because it was so obviously a gigantic misstep – and everyone's pouncing on him, and he just keeps digging a deeper hole. I mean, he basically has said he he does not care about human rights. In the be- it's not just that. It's he has tweets that look they come from two different humans. So like, I mean, has one one tweet you'll dig up where he's like, "The only thing in life is human rights, and it's a, more important than money and contracts." And then you have another one that says, "You shouldn't talk." And when human rights issues if you don't know what you're talking about and thing it's amazing the shirt that we put up chairman lebron it actually says fuck daryl Morey below it in chinese i was more writing a blog about how hypocritical lebron was i have you know the the tweet and the shirt so i'm like hey if you want shirts pro china pro lebron pro china we have that if you have anti china pro lebron i have that he's a hypocritical sc- scumbag I wasn't even going to put the shirts on sale, to be honest. I just thought it made the effect of the blog better. Now, superfan number one of Barcel, Donald Trump Jr., retweeted it like 20 seconds after I posted it, which I'm sure is a major factor. But, I mean, yeah, we've sold a lot. It was crazy how many, I, I mean, we've sold a lot for a shirt that was intended to be, like, never really sold. And it was, like, the perfect recipe because it has politics. Like, there's people who maybe don't even know Barcelona and just saw Trump's tweet or like, I love this. I, yeah. I hate LeBron. And also like as stool, I think it's just such, if I like wasn't working here, I probably would bought, I love those ridiculous shirts. Like, I think there's a lot of people like that. It reminds me of the Chris Broussard, like yeah. source of source. I think just sometimes the more ridiculous the shirt, the more it sells. And when you add in how it's like the number one story in America. It's crazy. How little, I haven't paid attention as much, but when I was like ESPN really just not talking about it, like unless they've picked up on it. Like, I mean, Fox news is running this like 24 seven, like literally this is crack cocaine for their, for their, yeah. their viewers. Yeah. They felt the same exact way I did, but for entirely different reasons. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like I was just like, gut him. Like I got LeBron. Um, they were like, Oh yeah, this is, you know, the China and they don't like the NBA and, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's. I can't believe he hasn't done the full fledged apology yet. The full flip. I'm surprised. Yeah, like I just well. didn't think about the issue. I shouldn't have spoken. He has not even come close to that. But then the problem is he looks anti China if he does that. And it's like, now does he get himself he's in, down yeah, more? He's in a box. So he, today, I think I just saw on Instagram, he just posted a picture of like his son on a magazine cover or something. He's just trying to, trying to deflect away. He's trying to hope it blows over. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, well, it's it, the first time people have ever turned on him as like a person. I mean, because the decision he, was obviously huge. But that was more basketball. Like, yeah, going to heat. And everyone being a, always an unethical scumbag to a degree. I think the decision people looked at basketball and personal. I mean, he was pretty reviled everywhere outside of Miami for that. This, I don't like. Nobody has his side here. How could you? Well, China. China. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but China's soon may not because he. I think he's going to have to say something. I don't know. He, unless if people keep asking, his last what I see his last quote he had. Uh, he's going to stop talking about it because it's not fair for his teammates. He, I mean, what a spin zone <laughs> that is. Like, I need to concentrate on basketball. We need to concentrate on basketball. So it's unfair to keep talking about this. So I'm going to stop out of love for my teammates. Okay, LeBron. He's in a box. He's in a very – he put himself in a very tricky I mean, Daryl Morey put the NBA in a box, and ever since then it's been downhill. What's crazy? I was thinking this the other day. I'm not sure I'd even know anything was going on in Hong Kong if Daryl Morey didn't tweet it. I definitely did not know. Like, now it's like headline news. But I didn't know. I didn't know Hong Kong. I would have – if you said, hey, here's two free tickets to Hong Kong, I would not have gone – because I don't want to get on that flight. But it wouldn't have been because I'm like, oh, there's protests. If you told me Hong Kong was an hour away, I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. Give me back. Like, it was like New York to Chicago, per se. Uh, that may be a little far. But like New York to Philly, I would have gone. You land, you're like, holy shit. Here's Hong Kong. Right. Look I didn't know the rallies. On. Yeah, oh, there's protests? Like, did you, did you know? Well, you're, you used to be 
I don't know. You used to be political. Do you know there's shit going on in Hong Kong? I knew, but there's. N- I don't know that I w- would have paid attention now. Like now, I like legit click on stories and you read about it and all that. I knew, but I didn't know that it was outside of the ordinary. Like, for, like you know, things pop up and you yeah. see it. Whereas now you learn, like, no, this is like unprecedented. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and I. I mean, Daryl. I wonder if Daryl Morey. Regret, but if he truly felt so strongly, maybe he's happy. Like maybe he's like, I I brought light to this issue, and now everyone's talking about it. Or he's just like, well, he Fuck, I fucked the, over the yeah, entire. Yeah, I I think he's probably worried about his career and future. But he also what, he can't get. I mean, well, he can't get like fired like now. Wink, wink. Right. But like they'll Rudy Tomjanovich him if he takes like a bad step. Like nobody wants him there. You just, like no. you said, they just can't fire him on the right. spot, especially when the Rockets are like good. Well, no, I don't think that's it. It looks like you're silent. You're firing somebody for free speech. Yeah, I'm, but I'm saying like it's not like if the Rockets were a bad team, like oh, you could oh, fire oh, and be oh, like, oh, oh, he built oh, a bad team, yeah. but it's really because even of that. now I don't think they could fire him over that. Like he's entrenched yet very vulnerable all at once. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just thinking. Imagine a world where China invites like LeBron and Dave Portnoy as their two biggest supporters. Well, I, I have to <laughs> get have to assurances from the chairman that they're, he's going to force people to buy T-shirts. A billion. Yeah. I, I was wondering whether I should say that on Fox because sometimes, like, not that it is tongue-in-cheek, but, you know, I just did. I'm like, you know, Tucker was going, I was on Tucker Carlson last night. He's going all in on how China controls and where the country is losing and China's this big enemy. I'm like... Well, Tucker, I gotta be honest. Like, they buy a billion shirts. I am gonna be very pro Chinese. <laughs> I just want to get in front of this, Tucker. You called me the last honest man in media. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel about Clay Travis there? That sucked. I didn't know that was happening. Clay Travis went on before me. Now he works for Fox. Like I would right. have said something, but it, I, I'm on their field, on their turf. It's they invited me to be like, hey, that Fox guy that you had on Fox. He's a bigger hypocrite than LeBron, which he is. I mean, he is. Republican, he, 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 he's a Democrat. I mean, Clay Travis is a Democrat and pretends to hate, like, black people because he thinks that sells books. More or less. More or less. No, he is a hypocrite. And whenever I, I was with you and we saw him at the Army-Navy game, we popped out of that elevator, and he was right there, and he could not have come out. Yeah, he... You want no part of it. No, I, I don't talk about that much, but it was ironic. Like, I had to, it's like, oh, here we go. Here we go. And he's just deep do you think, Do you think he, I wonder if he knew that you were going to be on. I too. doubt it. I doubt it. I like, I never know who's on. I didn't know who was on until he appeared. Gotcha. But what are you going to do? It's like Clay Travis from Fox Sports on Fox News. I'm sure, though, if, I know he works for Fox, but if you, knowing how much Tucker has your back, if you were like, hey, no well, Clay, Tucker, no yeah, Clay I didn't know. Today. Yeah. The, the other thing, it's like, and this happened at 1.98.5 radio. Like, I was the Patriot guy, and they turned around at one point. They're like, why are we having, like, somebody from outside 98.5 talk all Patriots? Let's build up our own guy. So you throw, you know, Clay Travis a cookie and try to have him, like, be the witty, funny. But unfortunately, he's none of the above. Um, he's smart, but he's just not funny. Like, he's so boring. Uh, but, yeah. I don't blame him. I'd have him on. I'd rather have my own. Like if we're doing something Barstool, I'd, if we're talking about golf, I'd rather have Riggs on than a no laying up guy on. You know, it makes right. perfect sense. Right. Yeah. You're trying to build up your own guys. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, LeBron situation, I guess. We're selling T-shirts, so go buy a T-shirt. Do we have both options, the pro and the anti? Or yeah, just I think the the pro China ones are far outselling the uh, anti. Do you think people I, all know when they buy them what, which one they're getting? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. I can't imagine any motive to buy the, the one that just has, like, his tweet. Uh, like, there is none. Unless, big... it, unless you have it, like, on, I guess you could have done one of those, like, super fan shirts where it's half and half. Right. Just to show what a hypocrite he is. I hope one I, underneath. If like it was up to me, comes. everyone would boycott Blaze Pizza. He's, he's an owner of that. People out there, Blaze Pizza, you are basically supporting uh, genocide. 0.0 Blaze Pizza.